Hello, nobody, and welcome to another video where I don't have anything in my hands, so I'm gonna be gesturing awkwardly like I do when I don't have anything to do with my hands. Although, actually, wait, give me, give me one second. Welcome, welcome back. Uh, I have a microphone now. Uh, does this make me look like a real YouTuber? It's just to give me something to do with my hand because uh, I'm not actually recording anything with this microphone, uh, but it should make me feel a bit less awkward and that's always nice. <laughs> so welcome to a very, very original YouTube video that no one has ever really done anything like this ever before, uh, where I'm gonna be going on urbandictionary.com and just reading the descriptions for my friends and seeing how accurate they are. Uh, just a little side note, I'm just gonna do this for like my super close guy friends because uh, the ones for girls are usually all like either like super cutesy or like super sexual and I am way more interested in sexualizing my male friends than my female ones, so let's get into it. All right, we're gonna start off with Dylan. Dylan being my very best friend, so let's see what it's got to say about him. Dylan is an awesome person, so we're already starting off with Urban Dictionary lying to us. You never want him to be mad at you, but you know you could never be mad at him. I have been mad at him, mostly when we were in Portland and he got us lost driving to the freeway for like 20 minutes, and then I looked at Google Maps and he wasn't even close to where we were supposed to be, so. Thanks, Dylan. Sometimes he can be a little weird and crazy at times, but you love him uncontrollably. I put up with him barely, so. Once you know a Dylan, they will most likely mean the world to you, or at least be in your life for a while. They are lovable, crazy, sweet, shy at times, but once you know them, they are outgoing. I guess that's kind of true. Dylan is, he's pretty likable, very strange, can, eh, sweet. At times, uh, shy at times, it, pretty accurate. Uh, but that when Dylan's comfortable, he like really kind of comes out of his shell a lot more and is a lot more like energetic and stuff. Dylans are trustworthy and will never hurt you. That's probably the line that is the most accurate so far. I trust Dylan very much, uh, and that's not a joke, Dylan. I know you you think it's gonna be, but it's not. Like I I trust you a ton, and so far you haven't hurt me. Uh, in any way, not even physically. I'm not sure you could hurt me physically, but not emotionally. If you're in a relationship with one, cherish him or you may just lose him, and he will most likely not leave you. Well, I have never been in a relationship with Dylan, first of all. He's also dumped both of his girlfriends, so obviously he will leave you. So ladies, watch out. He will try his hardest not to hurt you and want you to be really happy and loving life. If Dylan's a good dude to be in a relationship with, ladies. Check him out. I'll leave a link to Dylan down below. Dylans are cute, sensitive, caring, but crazy and irresistible. I don't know why irresistible is right next to crazy, but Dylan, no one can resist you. They express themselves through music and things they like. Most people express themselves through things they like, so that makes sense. Uh, and Dylan, you better get back into playing bass so we can play some music together, because obviously, that's how you like to express yourself. They stay dedicated and can always make you laugh. Yes, Dylan can make me laugh a lot, though usually not through things he intentionally does or says. All right, moving right along to Ryan. Ryan is one of my oldest friends that I still like hang out with and talk to and stuff. Uh, he's a super cool, cool dude. Ryan is one of the most clever people you will meet in your life. He can be serious, but knows when to have fun. I think that's pretty true. Ryan is, is wicked smart, wicked smart, and is like a, a blast to be around all the time. I don't ever hang out with Ryan and come away like, eh, or like thinking I had a bad time. It's like always awesome. Ryan is very competitive when it comes to a contest. I think it depends on the contest. Ryan's like, a, he's a chill dude for the most part, but sometimes he'll like go 110% and then he'll just kill you, like destroy you, like Pokemon. I cannot stand against Ryan and Pokemon for a second. He just destroys me. Ryan is also very hot and cute. True. He is a natural born leader and shows it when he is needed in a group of people. That's, that can be true. Ryan sometimes really like steps up. Like I remember there was this one time when we were in middle school uh, and we were a bunch of weird kids in middle school. So one day we were just kind of sitting around uh, in a circle on the 
the pitcher's mound on the baseball diamond, whatever the word is, that we had at our middle school. We were just hanging out and talking, and then this annoying kid, um, I'm not going to say his real name, but let's just call him Evan. So Evan and his friend were like walking around us and like harassing us and just kind of being super annoying, like swearing at us, which in middle school we were kind of like, <gasps> then Evan accidentally like stepped on Ryan's finger because Ryan was just kind of sitting with his hands behind him, and Ryan just like... I don't know what happened, but one second Ryan was sitting on the ground with the rest of us, and then suddenly he was just standing. Like, he didn't get up. His state of being changed from sitting to standing. And then he shoved Evan over and started, like, kicking him and curb stomping him, and it was kind of the most badass thing I've ever seen. I don't even know how it broke up. Either we pulled Ryan off or, like, the, the like, recess guard came out and was like, stop it. Ryan got sent to in-school suspension and Evan and his friend got suspended from school because they had been like bullying us and like uh, swearing on school at school and uh, it was kind of awesome. And that day, Ryan really stepped up and led us all to victory against Evan and his friend. Evan being a very fake name. And now we're gonna move on to my buddy Josh. Uh, Josh is like one of the sweetest dudes I've ever met and he's just kind of like very loving and cares about others and I am sure his Urban Dictionary definition will reflect that. Probably your local drug dealer who deals drugs with his grandma. Dude, Josh, what the hell? Hook a guy up. Seriously. Alright, now we're gonna go to, to Bridger. Bridger is probably the one of my like kind of super close friend group that I know the least well. We kind of started talking the latest. I don't know, Bridger's a cool dude. All my friends are cool dudes. So let's see what Bridger's definition has got to say. A quiet and reserved person. I think that kind of might be true. Not, it doesn't seem like true in our like friend group. He's he kind of talks a lot. Not that's not a bad thing. That's not an insult. Uh, but he's kind of one of like the main voices. Uh, but I think like I could be wrong about this. Bridger, correct me if I am. From what he said before, it kind of seems like in more normal social situations, he's not super outgoing. Like he's just kind of a reserved person. Not necessarily shy, but like this says, reserved. Extremely intelligent and protective of loved ones, though usually in a passive way. I don't know how you can be like passive to protect someone, uh, but Bridger is very intel intelligent. Prefers a quiet life and loves to collect things. I think Bridger does kind of prefer a quiet life and collect things I think might also be kind of accurate. He's been collecting a lot of Pokemon games recently, which is absolutely sick, and he like repairs Game Boys and stuff, so I guess that counts. They are very trustworthy, although they don't often extend that trust to others easily. Yeah, I'd say Bridger is like a super trustworthy dude. I, I don't know if I've ever really confided anything in him, uh, but not for any particular reason. Like, I think he would uh, have my back if I needed him to, which is very important to me and a friend. With unbeatable wit and humorous charm, they can blend into any conversation, although they tend to hold their tongue until the opportune moment. In our Discord chat, we have this channel called Meme Spam, and it's full of absolute garbage. So I don't know if unbeatable wit is exactly the right word because it's mostly him, Ryan, and Richard, uh, but he is funny, very sound in mind, and a person would do well to listen to the opinions and advice of a Bridger as they only see in black and white, as they are and always have an outside, as, this is such a weird sentence, as they are and always have been an outside the box, an outside as they are and always have an outside the box perspective on life. Who writes these things? Why can they not write a sentence coherently? But yeah, I would say Bridger, Bridger gives good advice when he is being serious and when someone asks for advice. Although I, I don't know if he only sees in black and white. That seems like a, a medical condition that he would have mentioned, but I haven't heard of it. But anyway, yeah, I'd say Bridger, uh, Give, give sound advice and can usually look at a, a situation and give like a well reason like opinion and take on that situation. Finally, we're gonna move on to Richard. Richard is like, when I first moved to Idaho from California, Richard was kind of like my first friend. And uh, we, we've, we've had some, some ups and downs in our friendship, but he and I are super close and he's one of my most valued friends. Heart of gold, that is true. I don't know what Urban Dictionary's definition of Heart of Gold is, and I'm a little scared to check because of what this website is. He is extremely kind and always compassionate. Again, I would describe that as accurate. He is like super nice to everyone all the time. He'll make like a, 
a mean, snarky joke sometimes, but who doesn't? Puts others first before himself, but still manages to have a thoughtful opinion and holds true to his beliefs. Puts others before himself. I don't know. That, that's such a weird thing. Like, just a weird description of anyone. Uh, hard to say, but he does. Richard does have very thoughtful, thoughtful and well-thought-out opinions on stuff. And it isn't someone who's kind of, like, wishy-washy in the things he believes. Uh, regardless of what it is, he... he he does a good job of like holding on to his opinions, but not in like a stubborn like, oh, I'm never gonna change my opinion sort of way. He's only been in one relationship, Richard. You can tell him in the comments below how that went out if you ever watch this video, which probably won't. Beautiful eyes. He does have very nice eyes. Great body. He is so tall. Totally jealous. Fantastic hair. That is always true. Impeccably dressed. He is always very, very well dressed. Looks very nice. Extremely intelligent. Also true. Knows so much about the world and the people around him. He's one of those people who used to have like lots of like weird random trivia memorized, uh, and he definitely knew a lot about the world then. Could talk to him for hours about nothing. That is every conversation about Richard. Nothing of consequence and talking forever. Uh, I'm just, <laughs> I'm kidding, Richard. Um, but I would say it's true, like, talking to Richard, time can just, like, fly right by, because it's just super chill to talk to him, and you can just talk forever. Very mature for his age. He's a jokester. Not, like, I guess, not mature in, like, the super serious sense of mature, but, like, uh, I would say he's a pretty mature person, but just kind of with, like, a fun, a fun, jokey, kitty side. He knows what he wants and how to get it. That's a, I don't, I don't know how to judge that one. <laughs> Someone you will always want to have by your side. Your life will change once you meet him. Richard really did kind of change my life, not in like a super intense way, but like I, when I first moved here, I was like just kind of lonely. I didn't have a lot of friends. Uh, and he was my first friend and kind of helped me get more comfortable. And it, he, he was there for me for a really long time in a challenging part of my life. And I will always appreciate that of him. All right, and lastly, I'm gonna do myself because I'm my best friend, yeah. Our memesters. You heard it here first, folks. But kind of on a, a, a more serious note to end on, my friends are like the most important people in the world to me. Um, they, they help me through really hard stuff and they're just great to be around. And I'm not going to get too sappy right here because um, I'm going to cry if I do that and I'm not going to cry on camera in a video about my friends. Uh, but my friends are all su super cool, super important to me, and I'm very grateful for all of them. Thank you so much for watching this video. And uh, I don't know if I'll see you next time for something like this, because I'll probably never do something like this again. But see you in the next video in another, I don't know, five months or however long it's been since my last video.